What's up? I am playing my Guardian, my personal build one that I have. This video was recorded a while back. Uh, you will notice a difference in the quality of the audio on the mic end of it. I end up using a different mic than what I am right now. Why I do that? But I'm not going to redo the vocals on that part. I had some technical issues while I was doing this series that I have already addressed. And I'm wearing my 60 gear as I have already discussed in the previous. In fact, this series was actually recorded quite a few months ago. It was when I was having issues. If any of you might recall that. At this point, the dungeons kind of start to get a bit harder. So, if you do not have good gear, you will be struggling. Especially against the magic mobs, if you are a physical dealer, such as this type of character. It can be quite expensive trying to get better gear like this character has. This particular type of character though is a good one to start off with. And I will say that as long as you build your character right. These magic mobs are aggressive, so they can very easily overwhelm you. 
it is much easier if you try to kite them or isolate them from another one. You can always tell if there's another one that's going to attack because there will be a blue skull around the one that will also attack you. Just like the red one that you see right now, there will be a blue circle around another one. In this particular area, it does not seem that that applies. Well, I spoke too soon. See the blue circle on that one? If I attack that one, that other one will attack me as well. Only other advice I can give while dealing with these, make sure that you have plenty of pots or maybe scrolls or something that you can probably use to make it easier for yourself to do that. You can also take advantage of the events that happen to be going on or the gamer codes or whatever is able to assist you in accomplishing that. Now I've gone to a bigger area. These are ones that could very easily overwhelm you if your gear is not that good. You can always bring a friend with you though for this if you need to. on the version of the game they allow you to use packs so that may not apply to you but personally I would rather struggle and learn to play my character properly than know nothing about my character The only reason I say that is, what if the ones running the game decide, you know what, we want to take this away. What happens then to all those people that have decided to use that hack, and all of a sudden they cannot end anymore? And then someone approaches them that actually knows their character, that never used that. Who do you think will win in that situation?